hi welcome to my channel so we are still in the christmas season here in today's recipe i'm going to be showing you how to prepare christmas party jollof rice i know there are different ways to prepare jollof rice but this is my method of preparing jollof rice which i know you're gonna love it so here i have some ingredients to prepare this jollof rice i'll be listing them right away tomato paste some fresh tomatoes bell peppers some onions some garlic bay leaves nutmeg seasoning cubes curry masala ground crayfish dry thyme ground ginger long grain rice and chicken broth basically to prepare jollof rice you can use any type of rice so here I'm, I'll be using the long grain rice and one of my secrets for preparing jollof rice is this chicken broth but you can use beef broth if you don't have chicken broth this chicken broth adds a lot of richness to the jollof rice so another secret is using much onions in your jollof rice so I'll be using about three medium onions in my jollof rice so I know all of these ingredients will enhance the taste and the richness of this jollof rice what I'm gonna do right away is to blend all of these so what I'm just going to do is to pick out one onion so I'll be using this later to fry with the tomato while I make the jollof rice then I'll be adding this garlic into this to blend so before then it seems I forgot to mention I'll be using some scotch bonnet as well I'm actually done blending the tomato and the peppers so if you notice my pepper blend doesn't really have much water because I use a manual blender to blend this all in that case I really didn't add water into it if you add water to blend your own make sure you drain it in a colander so that it won't take much time while frying it and for the rice I didn't actually boil the rice what I did I just soak it in warm water for like five minutes then I washed it out so from here let's proceed so to make this party jollof rice add about half cup of vegetable oil to your pot and wait for the oil to get hot so you can test to see if your oil is hot All right. once the oil is hot just throw in the onion and fry this for just two minutes so after that add some tomato paste into it I'm adding about three tablespoons of tomato paste that's the canned tomato. I have to dissolve my tomato first with a little water so that it will be very easy for it to fry in the oil. That's what I always do. So you can try dissolving the tomato first first before adding it. Then fry this again for 3 minutes. your tomato is well fried once the oil forms bubbles and rises to the top that shows that the tomato is fried then you can add the blended tomato as well this is one of the secrets of making this radish party jollof rice that you usually see in parties and in weddings combining two different tomatoes the tomato press and the tomato puree together so once you've added this you can cover the lid and allow it to cook for about five to ten minutes look at how rich the sauce is so it's now time to add the chicken broth into it i actually made this at home so you can prepare your chicken broth or beef broth ahead of time before you embark on preparing your jollof rice so with this i'm not going to be adding much water into it what i'm just going to do is to season it so to this i'll be adding in one teaspoon of curry powder i'm also adding in ground ginger one teaspoon a tablespoon of thyme using dry thyme You know, I love adding crayfish to my jollof rice, so I'm using about 2 tablespoons of ground crayfish. 
also adding in some chicken stock cubes and also nutmegs so after you've added all this it's best you stay the sauce first before you add the salt if it doesn't need salt you can skip sorry because my chicken broth is very rich i may not need to add salt to it i've tested the sauce this sauce is just unique just look at how thick it is so i really don't need to add much water without much waste of time i'll just add the rice into it because the water has started boiling already so you give the rice a good stir And lastly, to our jollof rice, I'll be adding in some bay leaves. I'm adding about three. This is another secret to cooking jollof rice. Bay leaf has a very unique flavor, so it's going to be adding the flavor also to the rice. So lastly, we are going to be covering it, but I'm not just going to cover it just like that. So I have a foil paper here, which I'm going to use to cover the pot. So the reason for using this foil paper is to allow the steam to cook the rice. So after those, after you've wrapped it over the cover, just fold it a little bit. So the foil paper will allow the rice to cook using the steam. This is another secret of cooking jollof rice. So you, in this case, you don't really need to add much water to your rice. If you don't actually know when the water is going to dry, you can just be checking it from time to time. So by now, the rice is dried. So I'm just going to take out the bay leaves from the rice. You can hear the burning sound. That's exactly what I want. So after I've taken out the bay leaves, so because I need this smoky patty jollof rice, so I'm just going to leave it on heat a little bit, maybe for about 10 minutes on a medium to high heat, so that it will burn a little bit. So you can hear the sound, this is what I want. You might be wondering why I use foil paper to cook my rice, so just for it to trap in heat so that the rice will be cook without waste of time and also you don't need to add plain water to your rice when when using foil pepper just look at the color everything the ingredient is concentrated and if you choose to add some veggies to your rice you can do so but it's just the way i'm going to be leaving it so my rice is smoky enough so you can take this off from heat and serve your smoky party jollof rice Guys, this was how I prepare my smoky patty jollof rice for this Christmas. Every grain of this rice is filled with all goodness and richness. I hope you try this method out and you will really love it. Thanks for watching my video. Stay blessed and celebrate your Christmas well. Bye.